So one way to solve for the sock merchant challenge is to sort the array, compare each item side by side to find a pair, and total the number of pairs we find. So for our first step, we will create a variable to hold the sorted array and use the built-in sort method. The sort method can take a compare function as an argument. The passed in compared function will ensure that items are sorted in ascending order. Next, we create a pairs variable, which will hold the final count and we've defaulted to zero. At this point, this would be the expected output from sorted if we were to pass in our socks array. Next, we set up a for loop. We naturally start at index zero, but since we are going to compare items side by side, we make a full stop at the last index. And then we increment i. So let's start at if block, and we can now compare each item of the array with its direct sibling. This will allow us to find a pair. We increment the pair's value if we find a match, and we also increment i by one. This allows us to skip to the next item since we already have checked it. If the two items do not match, the normal loop cycle will simply continue. And we can just return our pair's value at the end of the function. We have now sorted and compared side by side. So let's run our solution. First, let's open our terminal and just run a node command here for our sock merchant. And we see that we get a total of three pairs. This is a good first solution suitable for small arrays, but it can surely be improved upon. Let me know about your take on it in the comments. In part one, we solved the challenge using a sort first and compare approach. Let's clean up and look at an alternative solution. Using the stock and count function, we will create an object that will stock each of our colors as keys. So we will still create a pairs variable, then we will have a colors variable here, but using the reduce method, we will be building up this object as we go. In the reduce callback, we set up an accumulator and the current value. Doing this on the fly, we check to see if our current value exists as a key in our accumulator object. If so, we add one to it. If not, we create the key and initialize it with one. Let's not forget to add the empty object as the second argument and return the accumulator after each iteration. Oh, and let's make sure the function is properly closed. What we have done above is what I call the dictionary approach. Now that we have an object which each color has a key, let's loop through it. We iterate through each key and we create a local pair variable. We initialize the pair by dividing the colors and key value by two. And we're using the parse int method to get the full value. Now we can check if the pair value is greater or at least equal to one. If true, we can then increment the total pairs value on line 17 with the number of pairs found. We can now simply return the total count at the bottom of our function. Running it in the terminal gives us again three pairs. And if that went too fast, let's add it to our console statement and run it again.